Apple's M5 series of MacBooks are coming later this year, likely in October or November, according to Mark Gurman, with a couple of new changes that are gonna be very tempting. However, I'm gonna go through three reasons why you should not wait Forget about the M5 and just buy an M4 model right now, including the whole Trump tariff topic that might make these a lot more expensive. But first, I wanna talk about the changes that we should expect. The first one is updating to Wi-Fi 7, which is great because it can connect to all three bands at the same time and automatically switch on the fly, which is like the pinnacle of Wi-Fi technology. And then of course, the second is the M5 series of of chips, the M5, the M5 Pro, the M5 Max, all coming to the MacBooks, including the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro. Now, they are gonna be faster, but we are not expecting two nanometer chip technology from TSMC just yet, which is Gaffit, which is a huge upgrade. It's basically gate all around node technology, which is the first major upgrade in many, many years, since currently we're using ThinFET, which has been around since probably, I think, 2013 and still in use today in the M4 chips. So unfortunately, we're not getting the new two nanometer gaffet in the M5 chip, but we are getting a brand new, never before seen chip technology that Apple is gonna implement into these chips as sort of a stepping stone towards the brand new two nanometer chips. Apple is apparently planning to completely redesign how they make their Apple Silicon chips for the M5 series by basically separating the CPU and the GPU into different chips or chiplets before combining them all onto the main chip or die or package, basically with the M5 Pro, M5 Max, and M5 Ultra chips. Now, the regular M5 apparently will not have that technology. It'll stick to the same old method of creating the design just to save costs. But this new packaging method, which is I think SOIC MH uses a brand new technology and method to make that chip, and it is gonna have a couple of different advantages. First of all, it's gonna lead to better yields for TSMC and Apple, which means basically less wasted cost on extra silicon, which is always nice, lowering the prices. And when you actually separate the chips into different chiplets and kind of move them away from each other, it does actually improve the thermal performance compared to how it's all right now jam-packed all next to each other in terms of the CPU, GPU, everything together. So it basically is gonna improve thermals and also improve the efficiency, maybe even make it easier to make the max and ultra chip models with this new chip stacking or combining method. And there's apparently also less electrical power loss, which leads to better efficiency as well. So with that said, we could expect a decent boost in performance, even without relying on much better chip tech like two nanometer. But other than that, in the leaks, we don't really see much else getting added to these M5 MacBooks. But with that said, let me now get into three major reasons why you should not wait for an M5 series MacBook and seriously just buy an M4 series chip model right now. Reason number one is this. Donald Trump just announced a bunch of tariffs, 54% total on China and 46% on Vietnam, 24% on Malaysia. Those are the areas, including others, that Apple uses to make Macs and MacBooks and they are now being tariffed. So Apple will likely have no choice but to increase prices on the new M5 series MacBooks compared to what we have now. So if you decided to wait and see what comes out with the M5 series, you might actually change your mind because of the price increase and just buy an M4 model instead. I mean, we might see couple hundred dollar increases and that won't even be enough to cover the tariffs. Apple would be basically eating the rest of the bill or finding other ways to save money to cut costs. But more than likely, prices have to go up assuming the tariffs stick. And who knows, what if Apple next week comes out and raises all of their prices on all their products, including the current M4 models? I mean, there is nothing stopping Apple from doing this at any time to help fight the tariffs. So with that said, if you buy today, Apple has to honor the pricing you are locked in 
Even if the price gets raised while you're waiting for your order to ship and get delivered, Apple is going to honor that. So seriously, it's probably a better time to buy right now. And by the way, there are a bunch of sales on Amazon right now. A lot of these are on sale. Definitely use the links down below for the best sale prices from Amazon. Now jumping into reason number two, the current M4 lineup of MacBooks is probably one of the best ever. First off, we have the M4 MacBook Air, which is the best value MacBook ever. And now comes with 16 gigs of RAM. The M4 chip is super powerful, outperforming the previous M3 Pro chip, which is crazy, more than enough performance for most people, and it's only 999 bucks or 950 on Amazon right now. Seriously, we have never seen a better value MacBook in history. And then we have the M4 Pro MacBook Pro, which is insanely powerful, faster than the M2 Ultra Mac Pro in terms of multi-core performance, which is mind blowing in a 14 inch laptop. The single core is the fastest in any CPU, destroying even the best from Intel and AMD. So for $2,000, it is still a great value. Actually only $1,789, on sale on Amazon right now. It's a crazy good deal for the performance that you get. And then of course we have the beast, the M4 Max, which is the fastest in so many of the real world tasks that we tested, other than of course the M3 Ultra winning in only some of them. Of course you have the best single core, you have crazy good graphics performance. So I honestly don't think there is a point to wait for the M5 MacBooks because the performance we have in the M4 series is already good and more than good enough. So it's not worth risking waiting for Apple to potentially raise prices, especially if we're not expecting any new features. So it's probably best to buy now. And let's get into reason number three. With the new M5 series of MacBooks, looking at all the leaks and rumors and everything, we are not expecting any design changes, no redesign, no new display, same display, no new major features, nothing that matters is changing. Just the internals, the Wi-Fi, the chip itself, we're not expecting anything new. However, the 2026 models are getting probably the biggest redesign in years. It's supposed to be thinner with better battery tech, so keep the same battery life, thinner design, we're getting a new tandem OLED display, which is insanely good, the best of the best. Potentially Apple's new custom Wi-Fi and Bluetooth chips are coming into those MacBooks. We might even get Face ID. However, we are not expecting cellular to come, like the C2 chip that's rumored, because that's likely not coming for another couple of years, but that new 2026 model is gonna be insanely good. And that's actually the one that I am waiting for because my current MacBook is just fine and I don't wanna upgrade until I get OLED, because I care a lot about the display tech. So if you wanna upgrade this year, seriously, Forget the M5, don't wait for it. Don't wait for tariffs increasing prices. Just buy one of the M4 series models right now and I'll have the links to the best sales on Amazon down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.